everyone, welcome back to Soccer Spirit. Uh, as you remember from last time, um, uh, <laughs> one of the fox girls fell into the water and we got to sleep in the same bed as her. Yeah, I, I, it was, it was very hot, I, I don't mind, let's just get started. <laughs> okay, uh, sure, give me a second. After looking around for a moment, I found the robes neatly folded up on the dresser, my heart skipping a beat as I took a hold of them, before turning around to the screens and hand them over. Say, Machiko-san, how come you two walk around stealing people's underwear? I mean, you don't look like bad people to me. Yeah, they don't. Well, it isn't complicated. Maiko was researching a spell she had wanted to perform, one that would allow us to easy us easier access to certain things we need, and one of the ingredients was a made in silk. What kind of spell requires underwear? The only silk I could think of was, well, you already know the answer. <laughs> Machiko, why was that the only thing you could think of? <laughs> By made in silk, you mean, I, I guess I understand why you would think that, but isn't made in silk another term for a wedding sash? It is in my world, at least. As I said this, the girl appeared from the other side of the screen. Hi there. <laughs> I never realized. Apparently not. Apparently underwear is on your mind. Well, what's, what's that? I mean, some, uh, pfft, Michael. A maiden silk it is a wedding sash. All our work was for naught. Yeah. T seriously, watch go why? Oh, well, at least a wedding sash will be easier to get. I'll just have to marry to What the- <laughs> What? <laughs> okay! Marriage is the answer, I guess. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wrong voice, but I don't give a shit. Ugh. A few minutes later, <laughs> um... Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. More dots. <laughs> okay, um... Okay. After that little incident, we relocated to the kitchen. The smell of food filled the air. I like how this place looks, it's very nice. Despite the younger sister's easygoing attitude, always humming some cheerful melody, I found my cheeks still burning from embarrassment. Think that a girl would say such a thing. Oh, about marriage, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm with you, too. uh, I'm with you there. I quickly shook my head to clear the thoughts from my mind and turned towards the other sister. The soup is delicious. Is Michael chan usually the one doing the cooking around here? Yay! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Do you know? I don't usually cook, so I made a few lucky guesses. Okay, so I take the older sister is the one that cooks the most. Okay. It is rather delicious, Mariko John. Perhaps you could do more cooking from now on. It would allow me more time to wander. <laughs> wow, okay! <laughs> yeah, she is cooking. She just wants a lunch. Nice. Well, the first step to getting your wedding sash is to become a good housewife. And that includes cooking. Well, not exactly. Well, I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. I had this with a bit of amusement, following Machiko's comment. I took another sip of the soup. For a few lucky guesses, this dish had turned out pretty well. What you put in it? I want to know. Hmm, that's true. I'll learn how to clean, and I'll cook for you. And uh, I don't know what else, but it'll be fun learning. <laughs> oh boy, Michael, you should stop that. You know very well that it is pointless for you to marry him. Only the villagers know how to crack the wedding sash, and we both know this will not happen. Oh, why not? Mm, that's not necessarily true, Mike. Watch goes on. Is he for the wedding? Is he for it? It is only it only becomes ever more evident that you are not of this world, Takakun. The villagers do not tolerate our existence. They despise us. We can never ask such a favor of them. I don't know why they despise you. You two are lovely. All I have to do is find some way to make the villagers accept you. But I guess I'll need to learn more about the village itself before we can do that. The pale-haired woman shook her head slowly, her ears flattening against her head again. Uh, she is, I guess, not happy. It is not that simple. They would never trust us. Humans and fox periods have never been able to get along. Is it because they're mischievous? I am honestly surprised that you have been able to tolerate this one. What was not to tolerate? You two are lovely and fun to be around. <laughs> I would be happy to be proven wrong, and you are free to stay here as long as you wish, until, of course, you two grow weary of our ways and decide to leave. Much go, that would not happen. Please, Emma, please don't say things like that. Takahiro wouldn't do that. Would you, Takahiro? Oh, hell no. Of course not! 
There we go, that's my boy. I wouldn't abandon someone just because they're a different species. That's not the way Kushiken Takahiro does things. However, I do remember the village elder telling sorry, uh, the village elder telling me that it wasn't just the fox spirits. It sounded like humans and spirits everywhere have been on bad terms for a long time. Do you know why Machiko san? I do not recall. Much information is withheld, even from someone such as myself. Um, okay. Do you have a certain way to get information? <laughs> Most spirits keep to themselves these days. There are a few exceptions, Zuri being one of them. Powerful spirits come and go as they please, but they tend to remain in the world. So, do the spirits just not want to- okay, sorry. Let's look at me. Fox spirits, however, have no other place to go. We are stuck in the human world, for better or for worse. I guess it depends on where you are. Huh? I didn't realize it was like that. I guess I'm finally learning stuff. She's a fox spirit, she doesn't know us. Michael, why? Well, this Suryuri char character lives in the shine, right? We should try asking her for some ideas. Uh, no, 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 no. We do not need to go see her. Absolutely not. No, uh, I don't want to see her. I don't want to. Uh, I take it Machiko and uh, Sur Suryuri aren't on good terms. I was somewhat taken back by Machiko's suddenly childish way of speaking. It reminded me of the times I had been told to go visit the doctor when I was younger, complaining and throwing tantrums along the way. But isn't she the one that can help us? I, re <laughs> I refuse to go. <laughs> she already is a fiend, and I just like the idea of spending even a second in her presence. Wow, they really don't like each other. She can't be that bad, can she? Besides, if anything happens, I'll protect you. As, as a man. F fine. If it really means that much to you, I will attempt to lead you to the shrine again, but you will enter the grounds alone. I, I don't want to go anywhere near that place. You will be on your own, Takako. I'm okay with that. Can I come on you somewhere? Absolutely not. I forbid it. You are not to follow us under any circumstances, Michael. I guess she, yeah, she cares for her little sister. There we go. Fine, I'll stay here. Just like you said, I'll be here in the mansion. You are not gonna be in the mansion. You, you are gonna... Michael, I can tell you're gonna follow. Alone. Or not. I'm protected. All by myself. She's gonna fall. Okay, Machiko's gonna let her. Who knows what might happen to me. I could get trapped under a bookcase. <gasps> okay, that's kind of, that's, that's very unlikely, but okay. Or slip on a banana and die. <laughs> okay. Or get bored, bored and die. A boredom. <laughs> Lyco! Really? <laughs> oh, man, I love these girls. <laughs> I'd be so super duper bored sitting here all alone in, some, in the same place day in and day out. Maiko. <laughs> fine, fine, I get it. You may go along, but you must be on your best behavior, little one. No running around and no talking unless people do. She's like a mother. Okay! <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, I love these girls so much. Despite Maiko's cheerfulness, I couldn't help but wonder what had happened between Machiko and Suyuri for her to react so strongly. Something happened to grab her tail. I decided that maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to spend some time with the two sisters to get to know them better. I'm okay with that, I second that opinion. Well, I do have two weeks until I need to get back to my own world, so there's really no need to rush. How about we do something else instead? I'm sure Machiko said I wouldn't mind the distraction. Hmm. Well, the longer I get to stay away from that place, the better. How about bringing Ma Michael san along to go fetch some desserts for us? Desserts? There are oranges, apples, and a small vineyard behind the mansion. I could whip up some cream to go with it. It would, if you like. Oh, the, a little parfait. Oh, that sounds good. Sure, <laughs> that sounds easy enough. Let's get some delicious fruit, Michael san Alright. <laughs> well, I didn't seem too happy about that. As Maiko led me through the garden to, of the impressive mansion, she seemed a little quiet, as though she had something on her mind. That's kind of a first. Not what you mean. I wanted to ask her about it, but something about the way her ears sagged and her tail hung low told me that probably wasn't the best idea. I decided I would simply try to cheer her up. So, what should you prefer, Maiko John? Apples, grapes, or oranges? We could gather all three, but I bet we could grab a few for ourselves first. Mm, 
Apples, I guess. I know a fox bear once, a friend of Oni Sama, who loved apples. I can't remember her name, though. I guess my head's a bit hollow. Nah, just don't think much. <laughs> apples are awesome. Crunchy on the outside and sweet on the inside. And your head isn't hollow, head silly. If that, if that was true, I think I'd still be stuck in that jail cell. Very true. Or she would've blown herself up, who knows. But actually, that's not a good thought. Okay, I, I take that back, take that back. Only someone did most of the thinking, though. I just sort of went along with that, she said. Hmm. Oh, well, what she said. Well, someone has to take the lead. Besides, I'm still grateful for your help, all, all the same. How about... I painfully flicked Maiko's forehead with a grin. <laughs> See, it doesn't sound hollow at all. I'm sure there's plenty of clever thoughts in that pretty little head of yours. Ow, I mean... <laughs> now you know I'm right, at least. Anyway, let's get those apples, shall we? Okay, I'll get them. I'll get them. You go grab that basket over there. Alright, let's get down to business. Feeling hyped, I went to grab one of the baskets stacked nearby and returned to Monica, who had started climbing one of the trees. Oh, please tell me she... I hope she doesn't get like stuck in the tree or fall. The girl looked accustomed to climbing. Okay, it's not. But her small hands had me a bit worried. Okay, never mind. Hanging from the branch with just her legs, she checked to see if the apples were ripe. Oh boy. Michael Chan, be careful! You might slip! Ow! Oh! The girl had thrown an apple at me. What the frick, Maiko? And while my reflexes let me to catch it with ease, the force behind it still stuck in my palm a little. It's like catching a baseball. Of course, I did exaggerate a bit for the girl. Haha, <laughs> I'll be fine, Takakun. I've been climbing trees, these trees, all my life. That's good to hear. Even the most experienced climbers end up running into trouble if they aren't careful. That's very true. I smiled weakly at the girl's excited attitude, placing the apple I caught into the basket. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm a fox spirit. I won't fall. I'm super careful. Watch, I'll grab the apple soon time. Oh, uh, Monaco, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Well, wait, Makeo chan, unless you can fly, I don't think you should go for those. Fly? I can't do that, silly Takakun. Who has ever heard of a flying fox spear? <laughs> As expected, the moment Mahiko tried to reach for one of the apples near the top of the tree, the girl ended up losing her footing and tumbled towards the ground with a loud cry. God dang it, Mahiko! Mahiko! Oh! Ow! My reflexes quickly kicked themselves into gear, trying to catch the girl before she hit the ground. How'd that go? Unfortunately, I didn't notice apples scattered around the tree, and as a result, ended up tripping over. <laughs> God dang it! I managed another few steps and was able to catch Maiko before I dropped to the ground. My head was throbbing. Once I had recovered from the fall, I tried to sit up, but found myself held down by a small, but substantial foot. Wait, she's on top of him, isn't she? Hey! <laughs> Hi there! <laughs> Opening my eyes, I looked to see Maiko sitting on my lap. Hi, Michael. Um, comfy. <laughs> Owie. I guess I tried to reach a bit too far. Thank you, Takiro. You saved me, and you gave me a soft, well, kind of soft and hard, kind of hard landing. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. But Michael Chan, do you mind your um, your crushing? Okay, that's kind of rude, but yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Takahiro. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jeez. As the youngest girl grew increasingly flustered, I knew I had to calm her down. Gently, I tilted my leg beneath her, and she toppled forwards, <laughs> her head resting against my chin. I guess we've learned that fox bears can be pretty clumsy. Or maybe that Mayako is even cuter up close than I had thought. Alright, man, dude. <laughs> what, what, Takahiro? I, th I think you're mistaking me for something. No, you're pretty cute. Nope, I'm talking about you. You have that innocent side to you that's really charming. I wouldn't be surprised if lots of people from the village would want to claim you as their adorable little sister once we've cleared up those misunderstandings. Michael's little sister, I would love that! <laughs> hmm, I'd be happy to call you my brother, Takira. Fuck yeah! <laughs> but lots of people in that village are super mean. I just want to spend my time with you annoying someone. Aww, <laughs> she's so adorable! <laughs> but, brother, how about. darling? <laughs> What? <laughs> Dar Dude! I'll take the brother anyway. This is a darling! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm really... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Really? I think we'd be a cute couple. A hero and a fox spirit, living happily ever after. You're such a good sister. Wow, uh, uh, we want to start out. Okay. God damn it. We could raise a little family. I mean, we already have a house, so we wouldn't have to worry about that. And any guy from my world would kill to have a pretty wife like you. I held back a chuckle, knowing all too well that my teasing was taking effect. And yet, I was also happy to see our spirits seemingly lifted. <laughs> I'm so happy that Mariko is finally here. Like, she's finally like, cheering up. God damn. Uh, okay. I'm actually gonna leave it off here. I'm sorry that's an awkward place to leave off, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a burning like and comment down below, and why not share with your friends? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, and with that said, I hope to see all of your burning lights in the next one. See you next time.